And we continue learning uh, Rabbi Yoyna and Rabbi Pirki Avais with this incredible Hatzlik program. And we are holding in the second parak, the 10th Mishnah. Again, we are a little bit behind. You hope to catch up very soon. Continues the Mishnah. You should warn yourself. Meschamim. Keneged facing the fire of the Chachamim. Says Rabbi Yoyna, how we see every word of every Mishnah is so precise. Keneged. Facing the fire. However, Velo Karoif. But do not get too close to the fire. It can get burnt. You should be careful. Be careful of their coals. The coals of the Chachamim. You might get burnt. Says Rabbi Yoyna, Moshalim, Meschamim, Keneged. This is comparable to someone who warms himself for a fire. That's what it means when you have a relationship with the Chachamim. If you're far away, if you stand at an appropriate distance from the fire, you're going to get warmed, but you won't get burnt. If you're too close, you'll be burnt, you'll be singed. When someone warms himself by the fire of the Chachamim, and he enjoys and he benefits from their wisdom, he has to stand in front of them with fear, v'yira and trepidation, v'chayvid roish and a heavy head. V'al yina galus roish b'vneim, and don't be lightheaded in front of them. V'al yikrav lem yosef mimashik reveu, and don't get closer to them more than they allow. Shemida zu mirach toy mechayv toy oynesh gadol. Because you know what's going to happen. Because if you do that, it will distance you from them, and it will make you chayv a great punishment. So you only could get as close as the chacham allows. You should only. Stay at the distance that is appropriate. And that's how you'll be warmed and not be burnt. And needless to say, and certainly, if you didn't have Eira, certainly you have no place to become close to the Chachamim. Continues the Mishnah. The bite of the Chachamim is like the bite of a snake. And their sting is the sting of a scorpion. Says Rabbi Yehuda, "Maybe you're going to think that the Achel of Atayson, you could be mefate, literally seduce. You could charm them. Kederu shalechashin as a nachash. The way that people charm snakes, that they can stay, they could make sure that the snake doesn't bite them. Beinu noyutzich and it won't bite you. Ein hadavar kein." Says Rabbi Yehuda. Elo nishichasa nishichas nachash. Their bite is like the bite of the snake. Ulechishasan, and their hissing is a chishas a saraf is the hissing of the serpent. Shal yishma lekol malachash. If it doesn't listen to the effect of the charmers, those who stop the snake, if you get too close, it's invariable that the chacham is going to sting and bite you. Chol divrehem and all the words of the chachamim are kigachli ish, like fiery coals. Don't argue on them, the Loimar, and say, I also am smart. Listen to me. You're not the one that has a Chachma. Maybe you're going to be wrong. Because their words, the words of the Chachamim, are sharp and incisive. Due to their Chachma, due to their wisdom, as a refus that burns within them. And now, this really should just give us a lot of chizik and realize. Sometimes we wonder. For the Rabbana and the Chacham understand us. Let's listen to the words of Rabbi Yaina of the Mishnah. That's like this gachle eish. It's a fire. You have to stay at a distance. Never to argue on. And concludes Rabbi Yaina. These last three things are not the three things that Rabbi Lazar counted. These are not things he would say every day. Shishis Alibai, and only one time he placed it on his heart, Lizar Bechvod Chachamim, to warn for the honor of the Chachamim. Dailu, that's enough. Zaman Meruba for a long time. Kinenu Davar Zarech Zachir B'Chayom Shoshu Bishanim. This last three things, the warning about the honor for the Tamir Chachamim is not as critical, not as necessary, not as critical in, in severity, I shouldn't say that, but as not as critical in the necessity for comp- constant reminders like. The first three things. And we conclude today's share with one more short Mishnah. Rabbi Shuaimer, Ayin Ara, a bad eye. Says Rabbi Yehuda, what does that mean? Pirish Mishin is a mere bechalkai. Son who's not happy with his lot. Vo'ayin is chavira asher mimanu. And what? He's hostile towards another who's wealthier than him. Masay asher asher gadol kamei. When am I going to be as wealthy as he? Vukai reimra lots with the chavira. He causes harm to himself and to his friend. Shamuchach me atava like the chach me atava. 
like those, the scientists teach us, Achaymeid, someone who desires something else, Mikol Shalir, hey, whatever your friend has, Avir Oile Hamachshava, a vapor comes from those thoughts, Ahu Visayri Fasad Dvorim, Shain Ben Beino Yara, and it burns the items that you desire. Gamma Kirbo Yisari, at the same time, it's going to burn your own insides. Achashem is Avil Dvorim, Shain Yachalas Matsum Yadala Saisai, when you're desiring things that you cannot get. A Machshava, he, them Achshavim, the Kalkelos, the Gufai. That machshava destroys your body. Ki is kotzei make you short tempered. and Motiyasim and other removes you from the world. Vzeu ayin ara. This is the ayin ara. Shamer of Yeshua. Or ayil is apirus al shamer bekan ayin ara bloshet zacher. This is what it means ayin ara in the masculine form. Shazeu ayin bera. This means ayin being hostile. Ulamaylo amayin ara shaberzeno midas like kilos, which is kilos, which is to destroy. We'll continue with Mishnah Yudbeis the next year.